Hello, this is Duck Avenger, and welcome to Retro Game Review, where this is a Super Bowl edition, and I am reviewing Tug Bowl Bowl. As you know, the Super Bowl is coming up today, so I want to get in the mood by reviewing some football games. And first up is Tecmo Bowl. This is one of the oldest uh, football games there is around, and it is one of the best. Even though that's for the select screen of what teams you can select, New England Patriots weren't on it, so only one Super Bowl team is in there. So this game's pretty awesome. You have to try to avoid all the defenders. It has a kickoff and everything. And it has a lot of detail to it for an NES game. You have to throw passes to everybody that you want to. Like, you guys are pretty wide open. I think it broke this game right here because I thought, oh, just keep passing that guy. Keep passing to him. Yep, no, that didn't work. So I guess you can't really break the game and figure out 100% what to do or pick the play every time because I guess somehow the NES learns. The NES got smarter and so this guy ran the ball all the way back and my guys had no chance. And then that's not good. But I love that touch that touchdown voice and I love this little celebration here, right here. And a little like GIF animation when you score a touchdown. And it's pretty cool in this game, you wouldn't think that they would put the time into kick extra points. This one actually got blocked, so that's good detail for an NES game. And so, uh, you can do running plays or passing plays, and the running plays seem to work pretty well, as long as you can avoid defenders, but defenders always catch up to you. And defenders seem kind of to have an unfair advantage in this game. And, uh, well, at least the computer's defenders, and they got a lot of interception on me. Well, after the debacle of our first half, here's halftime. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of balloons and some crazy cheerleaders, cheerleader butts, and some cheerleaders appear in their face, not wanting to be known that it's our team, and some cheerleader upskirts. So we get back after the halftime, and I have to take back my words because my defense is doing good against our offense. So I guess they don't have a, a fair advantage in the second half. I just love the detail in this game, like, they didn't have to add a punt to this game, but they did. This game definitely is one that you can get behind real easy. See, I was down by a lot. And the cool thing about this is they actually have, like, a little newspaper about Los Angeles. Montana football. So now the next game of the three that I'm reviewing is John Montana Football, or the Genesis. And it's also on the Game Gear, and I think it's like a massive system. So on here, there's not that great of choices of teams. There's uh, only a few teams, and they mainly focus on the teams that went to the Super Bowl that year, uh, San Francisco and Denver. There's all different kinds of options you can turn on for the game, but I just left it kind of how it is. The cool thing about this game is it says Joe's game plan, and it actually kind of tells you a little bit of what you should do against the other team. I thought that was cool. I thought it's cool that they have the detail of the coin toss in the game too. So, you know, this is a game where you kick it off from the beginning. And, and of course they have other standard things like the turnovers that just happen right in front of our face and then the first play. So you pick plays right here, you have to push Set. over left and down or right or down and up to pick a play. And so I'm on defense. And it's pretty to do defense, I thought, until this guy totally burned me on defense. So, some, somehow, if you're good, it's easy to catch the ball and just run for the touchdown. I love the touchdown dances in this game. It's pretty cool, actually, in this game, too. They have the stats. You can look up the stats and you can see the score. So, this is me on offense, and I could not figure out how to get it going. Uh, I just threw it to, like, no one. I uh, hit the wrong button right there. Hit the wrong button again. So it's kind of hard to on offense. I couldn't figure it out. And at halftime, they do the stats, which is pretty awesome. And this guy, or this computer, was really burning me. Like, it seems so hard to do defense on this game. I'm just getting scorched. And then I can't do anything on offense. It just, I, the lack of being able to do anything on offense uh, inspired me to play my third game of this review time. NFL Blitz for the Nintendo 64. I know the 64 is a little bit of a newer system, but it's still from the 90s. So let's get into this super violent football game. So pick the plays just like you would in any other game, and try to throw it to the person who's willing. 
So you can get a pretty good rhythm in this game. You won't have to just the person's bullet. It's not, it's not so hard. The only thing that is hard about this game is just playing consistently all the way through. So you can, right there, I get sacked for a five yard loss and then get torched by this guy's offense afterwards. The only thing I love about this game is that once they catch the ball, you make them pay for it. And it's pretty awesome oh, after he scored a touchdown, even if the opponent he has a touchdown net, so he does. And in this game, you can do a lot of trick plays, which I love. You can throw it to the running back, and you can throw it to the receiver. It's just pretty awesome, but it's not in a lot of games. And of course, there's a stats at the middle of the game at halftime. And defense isn't impossible in here. There's some pretty good different plays that can be done. And it's just awesome. Because it's just so hard hitting. If this was real life football, everybody would be dead. And there's even things like kicking field goals in here. It's pretty. Even though, know, like, a game like Blitz isn't focusing all of its resources on realism. So that's the review of three different sports games from three different eras. So, what did I think about? The game's overall pinball is awesome. It's still a must play game if you like sports or like retro games. It's so simple and just yet addicting to play it with your friends or just play it by yourself. Now, the Joe Montana game, on the other hand, I really try to play games, a lot of games that I can just pick up and not have to worry about the reading manual or learning the game. So, Joe Montana would not interest interest me. I'm sure it was a great game back in the day, but it's not one that I will be playing in the time soon. Now, on the other hand, Blitz 64, I played with that when I was young. And it's an easy game to pick up, and it was still very fun. You know, you lose, I lost in the game. So I would say two out of these three games I would recommend to people who have like or just like older games or just have any kind of interest in older sports games. So this has been Duck Avenger. Please like, subscribe, and leave comments about what you think about this video. Thanks for watching.